The Pareto Principle, which is also known as the 80-20 rule, the vital few, or the principle of factor sparsity, says that 80% of the effects come from 20% of the causes. Business management thinker Joseph Duran suggested this principle and named it after Italian economist Vilfredo Pareto, who observed in 1906 that 80% of the land was owned by 20% of the population. He further developed the principle by observing that 20% of the pea pods in his garden contained 80% of the peas. And business people have taken this even further and they acknowledge that 20% of the customers bring in 80% of the revenue and 20% of a sales team brings in 80% of the business and sales. And in manufacturing, 80% of your inventory will come from 20% of your suppliers. 20% of your inventory takes up 80% of the space and 20% of the staff's going to create 80% of the problems. There have been studies that 20% of the population use 80% of health care resources. 80% of the crimes are committed by 20% of the criminals, and so on. And depending on what you're looking at and how you categorize it, you can use the Pareto Principle to identify both the critically good and the critically bad. Now, over the last number of years, businesses have laid off just a ton of people. The truth is they laid off that bottom 20%, maybe even up to 50%. And since it became okay for businesses to let everybody know that they were downsizing or right-sizing or reorganizing, this was a perfect opportunity to get rid of the people who are not performing. The majority of business managers, owners, executives have been exposed to this 80-20 rule at some point in their career, and they believe in it. It's up to you to prove to them during your entire term of employment that you're in that smaller percentage of employees who contribute to the larger percentage of results. In your job search, you want to be one of the amazingly great. doesn't do any good to come in second and third and fourth place in a job interview. You want to be the vital few. You want to demonstrate that you are one of the 20% that will achieve the 80%. So everything you do, your approach, your resume, your conversations, your manner of speech, the way you dress and act for an interview, has got to be top-notch. You have to demonstrate that you are the best candidate for the company. Otherwise, you're just not going to get hired.